Hello, I'm back with a uh, basic testing outline. Uh, that way I can be more efficient and not waste my time on doing things I don't need to do. So, uh, probably going to start testing, I'm guessing, in the next week or so. And uh, obviously the first thing to do is establish some baseline data. And to do that I'm going to use the bare bones biocell, which is just the, the graphite and zinc uh, electrodes with titanium dioxide in the middle. And once I know exactly what that will produce, then I can compare all other uh, results to that and, and see what the uh, what those improvements make or don't make. Okay, and <clears throat> so we'll do, I'll do that first, and then I'll uh, uh, well I'll, I'll sort of combine these two right here because uh, the main thing I want to uh, work on for the electrodes is comparing graphite foil to graphite felt, and I already know that the graphite felt is going to be way more um, produce way more power than the graphite foil does simply because it's porous and so that's going to give it a, a greater surface area and we can estimate how much that is by the results and then uh, and it's also going to allow more oxygen into the cell and that's one of the things that's holding back uh, air cell development is because we can't get oxygen into the cell when you've got, when you've got two solid plates and the oxygen has got to go, got to get into the middle of the cell. And if you got two solid plates on the outside of that, the oxygen can't go through to that, so it's only going to get come in around the edge. So by putting a, a felt porous, uh, using felt instead of foil for it, we've got a porous surface that's going to allow way more oxygen in. And so uh, that's going to be better, I'm sure. And then uh, the, the next thing. It's really important to get uh, together is is the separator, and of course you and uh, you want something thin, obviously. And uh, I had avoid mixing the active materials, but a more accurate word would be uh, the separator is going to control the mixing of the active materials in the cell. And uh, one of the problems uh, that I know that the bio cell is having right now, which is using paper, is we got bleed over you know, uh, stuff bleeding through the paper onto the other side and so it mixes too fast. So uh, that leads to the, I've got to uh, decide here real fast what kind of form uh, I'm going to use as the, the first uh, major for power test and this is what I'm thinking. Graphite felt for the cathode are the hydrophobic microspheres spheres onto that and then the, it's the thin film I want to that's where I'm going to confine the borax to that area right there and just just as a uh, uh, linking agent to link and uh, uh, link ions and stuff from either side together so we got uh, power can transfer through that easy and then of course we'll have the hydrophilic titanium dioxide and I've got I've got a new um, alkaline material for this rather than using lime I'm going to use trisodium phosphate and here's why now in the microspheres that we're making the, the, the best results we got were from lecithin and, and uh, sulfuric acid okay and the acetic acid works in the, in the cell no doubt about that but the phosphoric acid works much better and I'm sure that's because we have all these uh, phosphate ions in, in the cell. Okay, now on, on, the, uh, on the negative side trisodium phosphate is also phosphate ions. There's a sodium positive ions with uh, negative phosphate ions. So we've got the same negative we have the same negative ions on both sides of the cell and the only difference is we have sodium on this side and we're using uh, hydrogen on this side. Okay, that's that's the the basic difference right there. And then the borax is, is with the, be the linking agent between all this stuff. So I'm thinking that, and I've already tried this uh, trisodium phosphate. I did the experiment with it last night, uh, just on the on the negative side, and it popped my voltage. My negative voltage went up to 1.44. That's the highest I've ever had it right there, and so that's a that's a really huge uh, improvement right there. 
so that should really produce a, a, a nice battery. I'm going to uh, uh, get this materials together here and, uh, and build one later today and film it for you. Alright, I'll see you next time. Like Arnold says, I'll be back.